Now, Jackson Heights was not an easy place to grow up in, I gotta tell you, but it gave you character. And now, those of us who lived here, we took care of one another because, well, we had a sense of community. And there was that one place that became the hub for everyone in the barrio, the bodega. That's Spanish for storeroom, by the way. And bodegas really took off in the late 40s after transplants from Puerto Rico recognized the need for products that were authentic to their culture. And then other immigrants like mis dominicanos followed suit. Ya tu sabe, today every New Yorker, Latino or not, calls a little corner market a bodega. See what happened there? That's how we do. We get everybody speaking Spanish. Now, bodegas are the lifeline to Latin neighborhoods because Latin people like their fresh fruits. That's what we grew up with, you know, having all these essentials. And the only place to get them is in a bodega because we, we don't got the Whole Foods, we don't got the Cinderella's. So this is the spot. Hola, ¿cómo está? Todo bien? Todo bien. Todo bien. That's a beautiful thing about the bodegas, too, is that you knew the owners. If you didn't have credit, they would front you some cash so that you could, you know, get the things you need for your house. This is where you could get your Latin food. And, and Latin food, you know, like avocado. That We gave this. The Aztecs gave us avocado. Avocado, aguacate is an Aztec word for testicle. I'm not making this up. And, and the tomato. Without the tomato... I mean, half the world cuisine would be over. Italian food, you wouldn't have it without us. The zucchini, you know we gave the squash to the world too, you know that, right? That was our stuff, man. Don't make me have to suck my teeth at you, because that means I'm upset. Hey, what's up, bro? How you, How you doing? doing, buddy? Nice you to meet good? you. What do you think is, is, is so special about Bodega? I've seen people grow up here. Yeah. I've known these kids since they were babies. I've seen them start walking, start, start school and everything. You know, it, it's like a family. Like yeah. you said earlier about giving credit, you know, we try to help everybody out in the community. Like, it really makes it feel like one big right. family here, you know? I, I see people coming home from school, I say hi, I stand out yeah. there, you know? Yo, there's one reason I am here, one big reason, and is I'm dying for a chopped cheese. All right, I can do that. You want to make it yourself? I'll or? make it myself. You got the specialty. You got skills like that? <sighs> I Damn, do everything here, bro. Managing skills, I helps do everything. the community, and makes chopped cheese. Mm -hmm. Hire me. Now, a chopped cheese is like the New York version of a Philly cheesesteak, only it's better. Yeah, I said it. And word on the street is that the genius behind this iconic New York City staple was Carlos Soto, a bodeguero from East Harlem, El Barrio. How'd you learn how to make it? Actually, I learned to cook here. I learned to speak Spanish here, to cook, everything. Right. Yeah. It's like a college, a bodega college. They just molded me here to the <laughs> perfect bodega, man. <laughs> you know, land people, before we eat, we, get, we start to dance a little bit. Good one, man. Wow. Ready to order. It Ready smells to go. good. Yeah. All right, that's pretty dope. Oh my God, it's really tasty. Thank you, man. I appreciate Watch, you, brother. Man. Much Take love. Care. Much love. Un abrazo. So bodegas fill your belly and your heart. And I don't care who you are. If you're from New York City, there's only one place you're getting a half a gallon of milk and a lottery ticket at 2 a.m.